Welcome back to Let's Play DDO Permadeath. Alright, it's time for uh, one of the two serious quests at level 6. The Bounty Hunter. This one would probably be doable on Elite if I knew it better. But I don't do this one with a rogue or with a trapper in the party very often, and it's certainly not doable elite unless you know where all the traps are, because there are a lot of traps. Plus, um, it's quite possible to die in this first corridor if you're not careful. Indeed, I seem to have already moved forward um, further than I should have done. Yeah, it's quite possible to have people die in this first corridor. People can get caught out by the amount of fire damage. Glad I'm talking my way through this. I almost forgot to do that. This cavern is very cool. Earthy smells of dirt and fungus fill the air. This, um, this quest is almost reminiscent of um, Relic of a Sovereign Past, actually, with all the uh, casters. Another quest where it's possible to uh, underestimate the amount of uh, spell damage. I forgot to buy a new healing wand. Damn. I can hear myself think again. Alright, I think clearing to the shrine first is best. I know there's lots of traps in both of the other two directions.
Alright. Let's go clear out these trolls, I think it is, first. I don't remember where all the traps are, so... Great lengths to hide this locked door. I'm doing a lot of searching. Protect something within, or those without? Troll banners and standards adorn this section of the cave. We also catch the faint stench of trolls nearby. Alright, that cost me a few spell points, but I think it was worth having the uh, fire on the fire crossbow to maximise my damage there. Alright, if my dog's gonna barrel up here... Then I think I'll go up here and look for traps. I don't want my dog running up here and running into the traps. So where was the actual trap? I'm just wondering if I have a better spot item to give me a better chance of uh, seeing these before I run into them. I think I do not. I'm afraid this will get bit will be a bit slow then. This outcrop looks maybe yeah. Maybe somewhere near this next half crop. Definitely the ladder. Going by SDK. They do like putting um, traps near the ladders.
Okay. I think I am past the trappy bit now. That was crappy timing. Slowly does it. So many sneaky guys in here. It's um it's odd that the first corridor in here is actually quite a bit more dangerous than than many of the other fights. There's definitely a lower proportion of casters in this bit. Well, there's definitely a guy in here. I don't see him. There we are. As you enter this room, strong odors from the fungi and the waterfall overwhelm your sense of smell. Wow, up to onslaught already. I don't remember whether I need that key for anything, or if that's one of the doors I already opened. You emerge in a grotto behind the waterfall. So All right. And statues. Now my understanding is you're safe from the electric trap here, providing you stay in the water. Hopefully that's right. It seems it was.
right. Other side awaits you mockingly. But you must cross a series of platforms suspended over a narrow waterway to reach it. Ah, there's my dog. Park him well out of the way of danger and start trying to find the traps. I'm not sure if I've ever trapped my way through this one. But I followed other people that were trapping, so I remember roughly where some of the traps are at least. They're mostly on the side walls. Well, I found a trap up there. So of the uh, of the level six quests, this one and Red Willows are the two sort of most serious ones. I tend to think. I guess there's Glade Watch Outpost, but I never do. I never do that one. And I guess Valax is pretty serious. Glade Watch I never do because it's a defendant NPC one and not a very interesting one at that. And Valax is just super dangerous, so I often don't do that one either. Well, I've usually done it on previous soloers, but I'm planning not to on this guy. It just seems too risky. Okay, so where's this next trap box? There's another ledge down there. Oh, and the Troglodyte's Get is also a reasonably serious quest, but I don't, so... Uh, I will probably end up doing that one at level 9 now, since I, uh, I already have plenty of stuff um, to do at level 8. Hmm, so have I done all the traps, or is there something left? Campfires and torches give way to the natural lighting of crystals and mushrooms, both plentiful in this area. Ah, 
I dropped a flame turret there because I know I've been um I know I've had trouble with that fight before. It can be pretty nasty if you get over here while the archers are still here and then have the wolves charge at you. You often get driven back off the ledge and then the archers shoot at you all the way back. It can get pretty nasty. With the archers down it was actually reasonably safe, but uh I have memories of tough fights in that spot, so I thought it was worth dropping the flame turret. All right. So having done this once through on a trapper, maybe I'll consider doing it on Elite um, next time I bring a, uh, a solo trapper through here. The, uh, the traps in this room seem fine. And knowing the trap locations up here, I could potentially manage the way up the spiral. The uh, the spike trap at the start might be tough though, you have to cross it to reach the trap box. And even a rogue would not have improved evasion yet at this point in the game, so that would be a tough one. Although, like a lot of spike traps, it is at least timeable. Smashing crates while my uh, pet takes the damage. Sack. 
Ah, there's a signet I have to pick up. Okay, so I didn't have to uh, kite him around. Yeah, I'm in two minds about whether I would have done this on Elite. Um, having been through it and figured out where the traps are. There's, uh, I do hate running through traps. I almost never play Elite if I have to run through traps. But those uh, spikes at the start might be available, so maybe next time. Alright, uh, thanks for watching.